not so very long ago to me, but actually turns out to have been in early in the 14th century. Uh, and I, you know, we're sent these packets of information, and you got this thing, and it says, you know, well, David, you're going to live in such and such hall, and you're going to, you know, be living with these two guys, and uh, here's more information you need, and here's uh, this line of numbers and letters, and you can communicate with the dean's office. Uh, courses that you might prefer to enroll in, and also other meaningful information. I was like, hey, no, that's not going to happen. I don't know what they're talking about. I've got to go to some room somewhere and borrow somebody's computer and then type this up and tell them stuff. And I, I don't want them getting into my stuff, basically. Basically, what I was doing was articulating how uh, a lot of people felt after the revelations of NSA and Edward Snowden last year, which is I don't want people looking at my stuff. Well, what I didn't realize was this was email. Cornell University, where I attended, was one of the 12 universities around the country that had sort of served as the places where they were figuring this out. They, they had supercomputers there, and they were